manufacturer, United Defense Service, USMC Armament, MK1940 mm grenade launcher or M242 Bushmaster 25 mm gun, M2HB.50 caliber machine gun engine, Detroit Diesel 8 V53T, P7, Cummins VT400-903, P7A1, range, 300 miles, 20 nm in water speed, 20 miles per hour off-road, 45 miles per hour surfaced road, 8 miles per hour water crew, 3 crew, 25 marines from ship to shore to objective, no equipment better defines the distinction and purpose of Marine Corps expeditionary capabilities than the OV-7 amphibious assault vehicle. Designed to assault any shoreline from the well decks of Navy assault ships, OVs are highly mobile, tracked armored amphibious vehicles that transport Marines and cargo to and through hostile territory. THEAAVP7A1 is an armored assault amphibious full tracked landing vehicle. The vehicle carries troops in water operations from ship to shore, through rough water and surf zone. It also carries troops to inland objectives after a shore. THEAAV 7A1 is the newest assault amphibian in a series that started with the Roebling Alligator. The Alligator was developed over a period of seven years, starting in 1932. The first Gators were a disappointment in that the water speed was only 2.5 miles per hour. The land speed was 25 miles per hour. Through design changes and by using larger engines, the water speed of the Alligator was increased to 8.6 miles per hour by 1939. In 1940, Roebling built a new model which was designated the Crocodile. The Crocodile had a land speed of 25 miles per hour and a water speed of 9.4 miles per hour. The LVT-1 was a direct copy of the Crocodile, except that it was fabricated from sheet steel instead of aluminum. The LVT-1 was in production from 1941 to 1943. Being heavier, the land speed of the LVT-1 was 18 miles per hour and the water speed was 7 miles per hour. A six-cylinder, 146 horsepower Hercules engine was used for power. The LVT-1 was propelled by two endless chains fitted with cleats, both in the water and on land. The first LVT-1s were used as logistic support vehicles only. They were not armored and carried no armament, however, this soon changed. At the Battle of Tarawa, bolted on armor plate was used, and the vehicles were equipped with 1 to 430 cal. Machine guns. The second generation of LVTs was the LVT-2. This vehicle was developed in 1941 and was in production from 1942 to 1945. The LVT-2 was the basic design for a series of vehicles used during WW2. This family of vehicles included the LVTA-1, LVTA-2, LVT-4, LVTA-4, and LVTA-5. A few of the LVTA-5s were modified in 1949 and continued in service until the mid-1950s. These vehicles were powered with seven-cylinder radial aircraft engines built by Continental Motors. These engines developed 220 horsepower, their service life was very short. Major overhaul was scheduled for 100 hours, however few ever lasted that long. The transmission was a five-speed, manual shift spicer that incorporated a manually operated steer differential. This transmission had been developed for the M3 light tank. As a result, the transmission was too narrow for the LVT. This problem was overcome, by using four final drives. The internal finals were bolted to the transmission differential gear case and supported by two mounting yokes. The external final drives were bolted to the hull and powered the drive sprockets. This generation of LVTs was used through the Okinawa campaign in 1945. 